Hi, grade three. All right, so I'm going to show you how to make the uh, Jesus flower pot with construction paper. Like if you have construction paper, that's what we're going to do first. Uh, the other video we'll show you with just white paper, okay? All right, so we saw the picture of what the flower pot is going to look like. Now I'm going to show you the steps, okay? So uh, step one is you are going to trace your hand, okay? So I've got my paper here. Remember, same as in class, I'm using my marker so you guys can see it. Uh, when you guys do it, start off with um, pencil and then uh, you can outline it with marker if you like that how if you like how that looks or you can just cut it out, okay? So if I'm going to, I'm gonna put my hand on my green piece of paper and then I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna trace it. I'm not actually chasing it because I don't want, I don't want to go and throw onto the wall, okay? So I trace it. And then once I get my hand shape, I'm going to cut it out. And after I've cut it out, I'm going to wind up with my shape that's going to look like that. Okay. All right. Next up is your flower pot. Okay. So there's a couple of different ways you can do your flower pot. So one is with your line going straight across. And then the other one has sort of a curve to it. Okay, you can see that there. Um, or someone wanted to tell you, and I totally, forgot, I totally forget what I want to tell you about these flower pots. Uh, oh, that's what I was going to say. Is we just to draw the flower pot, you just have to break it down to its shapes, right? Just like everything we've done all year, break it down in the shapes that you see. So if we look at the flower pot, what shapes do we see? Well, this top part, kind of like a curvy rectangle. And then you have like a cylinder or a square that has a rounded bottom. And if you want to just make your bottom straight across, then go ahead. That'll look good as well, okay? So what you're going to do is step by step. I know what I'll do. I'll double up my paper and then I won't get anything on my wall. All right. So shape, first shape, right? Is there, and let's see if we can get this a little better. There we go. Nope, that's as good as it's gonna get. All right, so straight across, okay, and then down, and then down, and there's your rectangle, and you can bring it right across to make your whole rectangle. That's fine, and then you're gonna go in just a little bit, and you come down at an angle, right? Same thing on the other side, come in about the same amount, and then this one you can do a round shape at the bottom, or you can just do straight across, okay? All right, for the rounded shape, what you're gonna do, instead of going straight across, is you're gonna make a little smile, okay? And then two lines that are the same distance and join it with another little smile. And then we're gonna bring our lines in a little bit. And same thing, and so our little smiles, all our little smiles are the same size so that it looks good, okay? All right, so that's my pot. Now I have my hand and I have my pot. And I'm going to, when you do this, you're gonna glue it into, or I'm using tape, but you guys can use your glue and you can glue it into your religion journal, okay? So you glue your hand first and then you figure out where you want your pot to go and then you glue your pot down, okay? All right, next up is your flowers. So if you have construction paper, you're gonna cut five squares because we need to spell out Jesus, right? J-E-S-U-S. -S. So five squares, small squares. So I figured they're about the size of this finger. So if you look at your index finger, it's for looking up things in an index or the telephone book. It's about that size. Okay. So you're going to cut five of those. And what you might want to do is you might want to just cut five out of a white piece of paper and then color them in so you're not just using one little piece of a big piece of construction paper. That's totally up to you, okay? All right, but how the shape is for the flower, pretty easy, pretty straightforward actually. Okay, so our flower, the letter U, that's it. Okay, and then you've got some more letter use across the top and if you have a different way of making a flower you like the round ones better then go just make sure we're putting the letters that spell jesus name 
uh, inside our flowers, okay? All right, now. And then, of course, you're going to cut out all those pieces. So we, we drew our hand, cut it out. Draw your flower pot, cut it out. Glue your hand down. Glue your flower pot on top of your hand. And then you're going to glue your flowers on top of your fingers. Okay? And then I'm just using tape. I'm not gluing anything to my wall. Okay? There we go. And I think I'm... Might be missing one flower. I don't know where you are. Okay, so we will just cut out this guy. This is the flower that we just made. Kind of looks as you're looking at it, it almost looks like a like a duck's foot. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna cut cut that out. Okay. And of course I left my tape across the room, but I will just not glue this on. I won't take this one down. Okay. All right, and then we will put it, put it on there like that, okay? All right, and then our last step, once everything is glued on there, we're going to spell out Jesus' name, right? And then you color those in. So whatever color marker you're using, um, then color it in, okay? So J E. S okay, and then make sure that you're gonna color them in. Make sure that you're taking your time. I'm just doing them real fast so you guys can see what we're doing. When you guys do it, you're gonna do it nice and slow, and you're gonna color it beautifully, right? And then if we have our S down here that I don't have any tape for it, so we will just do our so we have J E S U, and if you just want to use black marker for all the letters, that's fine too. Okay, and then and look like that. And then down here, we're going to write He is risen, right? And you do that in the nicest printing that you can think of. Maybe you use bubble letters, maybe use black letters, and you could do it along here, or you could do it here. Or I'm going to do it here though, okay. So, and my H is kind of going with the angle of my flower pot because that looks nice. He is, and I'll make our risen nice and big. He is risen. Exclamation point. Okay. And there is, those are your steps for making your flower pot if you have construction paper. If you don't have construction paper, I'm going to show you in another video how to do it with just white paper, okay? So that's gonna come up in another video. So I hope you guys have fun doing this. Uh, it's an exciting time for us, Easter. Having Jesus risen from the dead is very joyful. Okay, so we're making some beautiful art, some beautiful spring art, and hopefully we're gonna see some of these flowers pretty soon, right? All right, here we go.